Hey y'all, it's Amy, and I just wanted to give y'all a little update on Brody No. Uh, my dog, he is a St. Bernard X. He is 19 weeks old. Um, he uh, was outside on a chain, and he's not a leash trained dog. He walks beside me. He, he, You know, you tell him house, he'll go to the house. You tell him bed, he'll go to his crate, and he'll lay down. Um, but he's a very trained dog, and he's not he was being loud you know there was stuff going on there was people all over the house there was a lot going on and somebody suggested putting him out on a leash and I was like okay not thinking you know I wasn't thinking no wait don't do that unless you're going to stay beside him that's the only way he's trained uh, as long as you're out there with him he's cool uh but he was put out on a leash, and my boys have riding toys outside because, you know, activities. Um, and he went crazy, and he tripped and fell over a toy. And he broke his fibula and tibula, and he had to have a plate put in. And he was supposed to be immobile for eight weeks. And y'all... With the power of prayer from y'all, he is already trying to wait and bear it. So he's doing so much better. So again, thank y'all so much for y'all's prayer for our beloved pet. Without y'all, he, oh, I mean, you know, without the doctors and me taking care of my babies and my boys taking help care of their big brother, well, their little brother, that would be their little brother because they're even playing so young, older. Well, anyway, um, but yeah, he ain't supposed to have any activity, and he's so got the umies umies right now. And I'm like, son, I'm so sorry. I wish you can wait bearing it. But good news is he gets his stitches out in two days. Well, staples out in two days. Um, what I, what I, I also while this was going on, I had to take Gage to the the doctor because. Uh, he was peeing blood before you even say anything remember I am blind so he, we went to the, or his doctor and they ran some tests and stuff and they were like Amy this ain't blood honey this is red food coloring from Kool-Aid and I'm like what the fuck I thought my kid was peeing blood he goes, I'd rather you check it than, you know, something not, you know. But I'm like, thank God it's just for food coloring. And he was like, I can really tell you're blind now. I'm like, thank you, Dr. Irvin. Shout out to Dr. Irvin. Uh, yeah, my boys love his, their doctor. Um and their nurse is the best. Lindsay is the best nurse. I can call her any time of day, whether it be morning, noon, or night. And I'll be like, hey, Glenn's doing this, or Gage is doing this. What do I do? And she's like, tells me, okay, try this. And if this don't work, call and make an appointment, and we'll get Dr. Irvin's opinion. Or she'll message Dr. Irvin personally. And, you know, my boys get taken care of that being said and now Bruno he's getting taken care of and Akesha our other dog um she just got her shots and stuff and then the cat he's getting neutered and stuff like that so um yeah our family's growing <laughs> anyway uh but yeah thank y'all so much for uh praying for Bruno no no that's what Gage calls him Bruno no 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 Bruno no 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 Oh, no. <laughs> and Glenn calls him, no. <laughs> no dog. No dog. That's what Glenn calls him, no dog. Um, but, yeah. But I'll let y'all go. I just want to give y'all quick updates and stuff like that, telling y'all we're doing great. And just continue the prayer. And we love you guys.